welcome to my youtube channel powerpoint university creative powerpoint presentation templates designed to help you present your best download the templates for free and make wow factor in your presentations you can get all the tutorials from basic to intermediate to advanced level please like share and subscribe my channel powerpoint university to get more stunning powerpoint tutorials every week in this tutorial i am going to show you how to create animated line infographic slide in powerpoint this is how the slide works it will show you the circle and then the line comes up and then it will show you the headlines there are six headlines on each side it comes to 12 and i have created one more slide which is a a dark background and the animation remains same you can see the circle comes out and then it will show you the headlines or the titles so let's see how to create this slide in powerpoint add a new slide go to view enable the guides go to insert shapes and select a hollow circle make the height and width as 1.7 inches and reduce the width make it no outline and align center and align middle now the next thing is I'm going to cut the circle the half circle for that select a rectangle and draw the rectangle by covering the half circle select the rectangle and the circle and subtract it so you end up with half circle there go to insert shapes and select one more rectangle so i'm going to cut the small part here draw the rectangle like this select the half circle and the rectangle merge shape subtract again press ctrl d to duplicate it and rotate it rotate horizontal and bring the other side you can see this one now i'm going to create one more This time I'm going to increment the value instead of 1.7 to make it 1.9. So I'm going to increment by two points. Reduce the width. Make it no outline. And then align center and align middle. For this also I'm going to cut the circle, half circle I'm deleting, click the subtract then you can see the half is gone and then add one more, I'm going to cut one more part which should be much somewhat bigger than the first one. So in this example I'm just going to show you only three but actually in my presentation i have created six so you can add it once you get the idea you can add as many as you like so select the second circle and the rectangle and subtract it you can see this circle is somewhat bigger and again press ctrl d to duplicate and rotate horizontal and bring to the other side and then next I am going to insert one more rectangle or the oval shape hollow circle now this time it should be 2.1 the first is 1.7 then 1.9 then 2.1 You can put the width as much as you like but make it smaller width 
make it no outline and again align center and align middle I'm going to cut the circle to half and then again I'm just going to cut this circle one more time which should be a bigger than the second one I think this is not that much bigger so let me just make it somewhat bigger and then press ctrl D to duplicate it rotate horizontal and place it on the other side now select all these objects the three circles bring it up and then I'm going to insert a line select a arrow and make it attached to the first one and then you can change the end arrow type to a circle there maybe you can increase the size and our size maybe this much and then select this press ctrl D and add it to the other side now similarly I'm just going to make ctrl D again and add into the other circles I'm just going to reduce the size and then I'm going to attach for the third one reduce the size further zoom and make sure that it is aligned properly see it is not aligned so make it properly aligned and give the same width and press ctrl D this one and bring to the left side And then I'm just going to add the lines horizontally. Rotate it to left 90 degrees or sorry the horizontal and put it here. And the next one I'm just going to put for the second one. Reduce the size or increase the size. flip horizontal and bring this side and for the th third one and add to the other side also then I'm going to add the, the headlines or the titles you can say. So now the text has been copied. I'm going to give some uh, colors to the circle and the lines. 
so select the first circle and give some different colors you can give the colors according to your own choice or your own taste select one by one and start giving a different colors Now I have added all the colors, then I'm going to insert some icons there. Then the next thing is to give some animation effect. Go to animation, enable the animation pane, select the first circle and give the animation say wipe and wipe say from top. And then give the same effect to the other side as well. Wipe, make it from top and say with previous or you can make it after previous. And then it comes to the line, line thread from top. I'm going to use one animation only which is the wipe. Wipe from left. And whatever you need with previous or uh, after previous or on click, you can just decide which animation suits you for your presentation. Using the animation painter, I can just copy it. So if you see here, comes the right side and then the left side, or if you want, to come at both the same time you can change the fx start with 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 previous and then i'm going to give the animation wipe animation to the headlines also Now you can see this the first animation done now using the animation painter I'm going to do it for the second third and if you have four five six you can do using the animation painter you just need to change which direction you need And then select this line animation painter and apply to the second line similarly to the left side also animation painter and then I'm going to do the same thing for the bottom lines select the first red line and click animation painter and apply on the second line so you just need to repeat this process uh, till all the circles and lines are animated
that's it from me friends thank you for watching my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe powerpoint university see you soon with more interesting stuff till then goodbye